venture capital. Venture capital. Venture capital. Venture capital. Venture capital is generally equity finance that go into entrepreneurial businesses that are poised for high growth. There's usually quite a little, lot of risk involved. The businesses are a little bit earlier stage and it is generally just as if you're getting a co-founder for your business. You know, there's a long-term partnership, mutual upside, and the idea behind it is that the venture capitalist partners with the, the entrepreneur, obviously provides funding, which is the ticket in, but ultimately to, to grow the business for the realization of the strategy, whatever that might be, sell back to management, exit to a third party, or whatever. This is an ecosystem, okay? So the whole entrepreneurial and innovation ecosystem cannot work unless all the different components in the ecosystem are present. Without the venture capital at the end of this, let's call it, you know, ecosystem, but it's also like a, a chain, if you don't have a strong venture capital system that's able to take those companies once they've gone through that development process and now help scale them up, whether it is internationally or even just locally to be able to take them to that next level, all of those prior efforts will fall flat. When a venture capitalist looks um, at a transaction to try and decide versus the other hundred business plans on the table what to invest in, it's generally all about the entrepreneur. And it's basically not just a gut feel on do I like this person, it's a gut feel on can this person execute. You know, when you look at a business on paper and you look at an Excel spreadsheet, all of it looks wonderful. But you need to look at the traction, the track record, and also the, the kind of passion and uh, chutzpah of the entrepreneur. Can they make this can they execute this plan? But generally then what one has to look at is a large addressable market, um, look at the market size and how awesome or how unique is the actual idea or the intellectual property around it. And where a awesome product or service and a large market that has a particular need for that service collide with enough funding and execution ability to make it happen, that's when, uh, that's when the magic happens. In South Africa, the venture capital ecosystem is still in a very much an infancy stage. There's a lot more happening in this space than there was five or ten years ago, but it is still as an industry in, in the growth phase. South Africa needs actually as a country to support a venture capital program, which will in turn support um, new startup tech innovative businesses. And the reason, and in turn, that creates jobs and that's actually what we need because small businesses use innovation to, um, to sell product and they employ people. Unfortunately, large businesses use innovation to actually reduce um, their employees. So we need to support small business technology innovation and that's where VC really works the best. Okay. Over the last 20 years, multiple countries, and I'm talking about 30 or 40 of them, have installed venture capital programs where government has supported a venture capital industry. If we look at the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India and China all have government-sponsored venture capital programs where government money is provided to private sector venture capital funds. And all of them have done unbelievably well doing that. So government money will be used to, to get matching, sometimes even two times money from the private sector, but then that money needs to be managed by private sector fund managers. That's how you catalyze a VC industry. SAPCA is the South African Venture Capital and Private Equity Association. We represent all manner of fund managers in the venture capital space and in the private equity fund manager space. So we actually have specific objectives in terms of what we want to deliver for the venture capital industry. And the first is for us to promote the industry. The other is around creating awareness for entrepreneurs around the fact that this is an option in, in terms of the capital um, uh, source and so that they know that this is one of the routes that they can go to and also how to find those um, venture capital investors. 
One of our set, one of our other objectives uh, as SAFCA is around making sure that we build a vibrant venture capital community and capacity in the country. So we believe that investing in small and emerging uh, companies is very good for the economy, it's very good for job creation, and as a result, we have a vested interest in building out the capacity. We also do a lot of research. And that will be for, uh, for example, we are this year providing information on how the VC industry is faring. We do this every two years. This year we will also be doing case studies. Simodisa has been in partnership with Safka for some time because we are the link between Safka, who has venture capitalists, and entrepreneurs who are seeking venture capitalists and funding, and also the government from a policy perspective. We play that interlink whereby we allow them to have candid conversations around how do we progress entrepreneurship, how do we start getting entrepreneurs to access those kind of fundings. Naturally, they would want to know what are venture capitalists looking for, so we as Simodisa would create that platform for SAFCA to be able to interact with entrepreneurs. We do a lot of policy lobbying and advocacy work together because we're going as a collective. It's very, very important for entrepreneurs to understand what the industry is about and it's a natural relationship that Simodisa and SAFCA have and it's all about empowering entrepreneurs and creating that access to funding at the end of the day.